Hello everybody and welcome back to the Louth Plagos YouTube channel. My name is Philip Marshall Jr. and today we are going to be doing a YouTube theatre tag. Um, if you don't know what tags are, back in the old blogging days, people would answer a load of questions to do with one topic and then hashtag it with like musical or sibling tag or stuff like that. People could click on the hashtag and find loads of people's answers. And it was just kind of a fun way to get to know people. Then YouTubers started adopting the format. And now in 2022, we're going to adopt that format. But we're going to do a theater version. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've gone on to kerryheeshon.com. It's a blog obviously by Kerry Heeshon. And uh, she has got a theatre tag with 15 questions. So I'm going to answer those questions. And then if all goes well and this video does well, I may go and get some other people to answer some questions about the theatre so you can get to know other people other than just me. First question. When did you start getting into theatre? I had done theatre when I was younger. Um, when I was about 10, 11, and I enjoyed it until probably the end of being 11. And it wasn't really much fun anymore. Uh, I took about four to five years away from the theater. And then I came back and started to enjoy it again. But when I really started getting into theater, um, was, when I started with the Playgoers. Um, and that would have been 2011. So I'd have been 16 at the time. How many shows have you been in? For 11 years, I have been in shows. And I would say I've probably done at least two or three shows a year. So the maths on that would be that like a minimum of 30, I would say, something like that. But could be in the 40s of... 40s and 50s depending on whether I did a really condensed time period sometimes I rehearsed for like two weeks some I'd be rehearsing for half a year um, but yeah I've done quite a lot of shows in my time favorite role I have ever played there are two answers to this there is a musical answer and a non-musical answer uh, musicals I don't really do them that often but my favourite part to ever play in the musical was a guy called Alan Swan in the musical My Favourite Year, played by Tim Rice. Um, it was my first like major lead in a musical and um, I just absolutely loved every moment of it. The character was fun. I'm getting a phone call. I'm not getting a phone call. Um, but yeah, it was a load of fun and I really enjoyed that part and then non-musical has to be uh, the show Darling Have You Seen My Structural Survey it's written by John Hewer um, we put it on locally and I got to play a character called Adam Knightley who is just one of the most fun characters to play it was very much down the lines of Rowan Atkinson Blackadder John Cleese in um, 40 Towers. It was very much that kind of style and it was just a lot of fun to do. A tip that you would always give to new theatre comers. Obviously the obvious thing is enjoy it but um, if we're talking people that clearly do enjoy it and they're looking for advice um, I would say there are three things that are really key as a foundation and that is diction, volume and presence. You need to have like stage presence you need to have volume so you can heard and you need to be able to be understood. If you've got those three as like a base foundation, you can build on top of it with character, movement and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't have those three things, you need to get them quickly. Biggest theatre pet peeves. Um, unwarranted egos, directors that forget their own blocking, people that don't turn up on time, people that ad lib for no reason. People that change the show, depending on who's in the audience or what night it is. Yeah, I, I, I don't have many, um, but there's just a few. Biggest strengths, biggest weaknesses. Um, I know my weaknesses. It's 
dancing. Uh, I cannot dance for anything. Um, strengths, um, projection, volume, presence, all those things I listed earlier. Very good strengths. Accent work, um, character work. I also pick things up quite quickly. They would be my strengths, weaknesses. Dance, dance, dance. Oh, and and remembering the words to songs. I'm, I'm quite a stickler for repeating verses. Who is your biggest inspiration in theatre? I don't think I've ever had an inspiration in theatre, like somebody that inspires me to do theatre. I've got people who are like mentors in theatre that I learn from, but if they didn't do it, I don't think they'd ins I wouldn't have done it. I suppose you could say people that inspire me to do better are um, currently actors like Andrew Scott, David Harewood, um, David Tennant, basically Shakespearean actors. I really, really love Shakespearean actors. What's your dream role? Well, going on from Shakespearean uh, talk, uh, I would really love to play Macbeth in a full production one day. I love Shakespeare, I love the whole kind of vibe that Shakespeare gives out and um, yeah, I'd love to be in a full production. Plays or musicals? Um, plays. Plays, 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 plays for me. Favourite improv game? I love Freeze Tag. Um, freeze Tag is just so much fun. Um, to be able to call Freeze just tag someone out and completely change the scenario and everyone just has to go with it. You can make it really fun. You can make it really, really crude. You can make it really, really innocent. And, and like the comparatives of what you go from to what you have to next do, it's just a load of fun. And I think anyone, anyone that wants to have a bit of fun before a show or anything, just play and freeze tag, mate. What is your favorite show? So we'll go for play and we'll go for musical. Uh, musical, Hamilton, end of discussion, play. I'm going to go with the first play that ever like captured my heart. The first ever play where I was like, I love this show. Because there's been loads of shows that do it over the years, but I think the first one to do that, I'm gonna go with my favorite. And that would be when we studied Accidental Death of an Anarchist at school. I really fell in love with that show and it's just become one of my favorite plays. I read it probably once a year just for fun. And um, yeah, I, I really do love that show. Most awkward on stage moment. Um, okay, there, there was a funny uh, little tidbit that happened in a play I was, I was doing called Making Waves. There's this part where the father and mother are talking with the eldest son on the pier and the father has like 90% of the dialogue. And it's one of those scenes where no one can save you because you have all the information to give, they know nothing. And I am stood in the wing with my sister, um, sister, not actual sister. Um, and we're ready to come on for our bit. And the father freezes and he doesn't know what to do. And there is just this awkward silence for quite some time and me and Lucy, who is playing my sister, are backstage, like, debating whether or not we go on or not. And, like, just skip ahead, and we just skip most of that scene. And after probably about 20 seconds of um, the father trying to just figure it out, me and Lucy were like, right, we're going on. It's too awkward. We run on stage, and then as soon as we run on stage, the lighting person at the time was probably also panicking upstairs. They hit a blackout. So we ran on, everyone looked at us and then the lights just went out. And then we somehow just had to go to the next scene, having skipped all of that. And then when the lights came up, honestly, I think that was the most awkward moment of my life, was just going, oh God, they know everything's gone wrong. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting moment. Best offstage moment. It's been a lot of good offstage moments, um, but I don't think I could probably pick one. I think any time you're with good people, good casts, and you get to just have fun and let your hair down after the relief of just having done a show, I think every after show party ever is just the best moment. Most challenging role to play. Ooh. Um, 
wasn't particularly as much challenging as it was difficult to do. Uh, I did one show, uh, Blackadder, where I played the baby-eating Bishop of Bath and Wells. And whilst the role was, you know, minor and it didn't really have much to do, um, I had to do this incredibly, horribly hoarse voice that just basically was like a constant vocal fry on my um, thing and I had to boom it out as well. And um, basically I went to the doctors and they told me that my, the entire inside of my throat was red, bleeding and all that. And um, yeah, they were really concerned for my, um, for my vocals. So I went on a three week vocal rest um, before struggling through the shows. But yeah, I came very close to really messing my voice up. So I would say that's probably the most challenging thing to do. And final question, what would you do if theater didn't exist? I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, I couldn't live without theater. Um, I'm gonna be honest, probably a lot of video games and probably sport. And that's it, that is the video. That is the 15 question theater tag done. I quite enjoyed it. I think maybe getting to know other people at the theater um, might be worth it. So I might do this again. I've got a week's holiday coming up soon, so I might try and get in loads of videos then. But yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay amazing, and until next time, see ya.